What's going on everybody? I've got another sawing video for you today. We're gonna to be going and cutting up two big red oak logs. We're gonna be bringing them back to the house. Um, I'm looking at getting an enclosed trailer and the gentleman that I'm buying the enclosed trailer off of is giving me a discount on the trailer in exchange for some red oak boards for his barn. So today we're gonna to be sawing all of the red oak for his barn. Hopefully it all comes out good. We're gonna head down to the property with the skid steer. We're gonna pick up the logs bring them back here and we're going to saw them up. Here's our logs, just got them back to the house. Uh, two big red oak logs, cut them just over 10 feet. Um, the biggest of which is this one right here, which at the base is probably about 18 inches in diameter. Up there, we're probably closer to 15. And then this other log is a little bit smaller, probably around 13, 14 inches in diameter all the way down. Bite. we just got the log up on the sawmill we got it all clamped like i said earlier it's a piece of red oak which is pretty common in this area we're going to be cutting it into eight inch wide boards that are an inch thick and we're hoping to yield 20 out of this log and this log all right so like i mentioned before we're going to try and get eight inch wide boards here and they're all going to be an inch thick we have to account for the blade curve so we're not going to get quite as many as the math would lead us to believe We've got the log oriented like this for a reason. We're gonna be cutting our eight inch boards and so our cant is gonna end up being something like this. It's gonna be eight inches across and then we're gonna leave it as tall as we possibly can in order to maximize the amount of boards. So uh, since we're only cutting eight inch wide boards, the shape of the log, uh, it just makes sense to have it oriented this way. So it's worth putting a little bit of extra time into how you set your log on the mill. That way you can maximize your material and reduce your waste. Once we have our cant, which is basically the log squared up, it'll be eight inches wide by roughly 12 inches, I believe. We'll be able to start cutting all of our one inch thick boards like this, and hopefully we'll be able to get 20 between the two logs. a friend of ours mike he's a friend from church he wanted to come check out the sawmill he's having fun sawing some oak <laughs>
So we've got the cant pretty much all squared up. We got this thing down to eight inches, and right now it's about 13 and a half inches. So I'm hoping to be able to yield about 11 boards out of this, 10 or 11. Um, we'll go ahead and start making all of our cuts now. We're cutting them all an inch and an eighth thick just to allow for some shrinkage when they dry. Ready to roll. I'm ready to swap buckets. All right, so the first log is done. We ended up getting 12 full-size boards. Uh, 10 of them are eight inches. Two of them are 13 inches. And then we've got a 13th board, which is roughly three quarters of an inch thick, which is still good for something. So uh, we're well on our way to our 20 boards. Hopefully we can get at least eight out of the other log, but we'll see. So guys, here's another shot of everything we got out of those two logs. Um, some really nice stuff. Some of the nicest red oak that I've ever sawn. Got some of the dimensional lumber that the customer wants there. And then we've got a whole bunch of just some wider boards and slabs that I'm just gonna give to them. Um, but these are some really nice boards. They're all sawn really nicely, all sawn correctly. And uh, every one of them is the exact same size and thickness. So it's gonna make it really easy when he goes to stack them up. Well, I just got everything cleaned up. I got all the sawdust cleaned up. I got the mill back where it needs to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I'm super, super excited to take delivery of the enclosed trailer. I'm really happy with the deal that I worked out with the gentleman, the boards in exchange for the trailer. So um, I've got a lot, of, a lot of stuff planned for the channel and a lot of sawing coming up. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button so you don't miss any of the new song videos. And uh, maybe I'll include a couple clips at the end of the video of the trailer. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.